Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you guys? Good evening. Fine. Good evening. I'm okay. Hi. Hi, Julio. Hi, Dalia, Miguel, Amilka, Roxana, oh. Efraín. Fatima, Armando, Lydia, Laura, Daisy, and Efrain. Very good. All right. Welcome, guys. How are you? Fine. Fine. Okay. Okay. What about you? Excellent. I'm okay. Fine. I'm okay. I'm great. Thank you. I missed you guys yesterday. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We miss you too. All right. Very good. Well, I'm here. Okay. So that's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so yesterday you talked a little bit about, thank you for turning your cameras on. That's very nice of you. Uh, where's everybody? My goodness, where's everybody today? Anyway, uh, thank you, Daisy. All right, so yesterday you guys were talking a little bit about past models, is that right? Yes. Yes, all right, yeah, yeah pretty much, okay. Yes. So um, there is a topic on the platform right after that one that talks about problems. And we're not going to study that one today. We're going to study that one tomorrow because I'm going to join two topics and I'm going to explain to you which ones. Okay, so I'm going to share with you the uh, platform so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so just give me one second here. All right, so we have um, here. I just want to show you here. You guys can see. Can you guys see? Yeah. Right, so All right. So today um, we are talking about models with multiple uses. That's going to be the topic for tonight. But I skipped one topic, which is verbs that go with problems and the other one that is going to be verbs of belief. So tomorrow in tomorrow's class, I'm going to join these two topics, verbs of beliefs and verbs that go with problems because they are not so complicated. Okay. So I'm going to join those two topics in one class. So Thursday we begin section number three, okay? So today guys, we're talking about multiple uh, models with multiple uses, okay? So that is the topic for tonight, okay? So we're, we have that. I'm going to stop sharing this right now because I wanna show you the platform I have, I mean the, um, the PPT I have for you, all right? So here we go. Hi Edwin, welcome. All right, very good. Yeah, good, evening. good evening. Nice to see you. All right, so this is just let me find it here because I have the other class ready also to go. Just give me a second. Let me see. Okay, got it. Let me stop sharing this. So how was everybody's weekend? Was it okay? Was everybody's weekend okay? Yes? You're not bad. Excellent. Not bad. All right. Okay. Have been Excellent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why could it have been better? Miguel, was it you saying that? Yes, I had a few things to do and the couldn't spend all of the time in break. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I understand. All right. Very good. Okay. So this is the, um, the PPT I have for you guys tonight. It's models, verbs, and their uses. We're going to talk a little bit about model verbs first, and then we're gonna see the different uses that there are, okay? So guys, I have this um, question for you here, and I want everybody to like pitch in here to help me out. Can you tell me what are model verbs? What are they? Like in your own words, you studied them a little bit yesterday. We're gonna keep on studying them today, but you haven't studied them before. So for you, if you would have to explain to me what model verbs are, what would you tell me? I wanna know. Mm -hmm. Help me here. I'm gonna stop sharing so I can see you, but that's the question. We have two questions here. What are model verbs? And can you list any model verbs, okay? so. What are model verbs for you? Explain it to me. Anybody? Uh, I think the model verbs is like a kind of verb that mm -hmm. indicates you something. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice. Yep, Thank yep. you. Uh-huh. 
Yes, yeah, some of them means obligation and others mean uh, possibility. Sure. Okay, very good. So those are the types, right, Efrain? Pardon? Those are like types of model verbs, yeah, yeah. right? Yes, sure. thank yeah. you. Very nice. Okay. okay. Well, Any other ideas, guys? What are model verbs? Like if you would have to explain what they are, what would you say? Um, I think it will be verbs that contain, well, define the possibility or the likelihood. Likelihood. Okay. Likelihood, yes. Happened, okay. Or the need of. Or how is the how what the word uh, how much how necessary something is oh, okay I, all right <laughs> okay i get it no that's fine okay i th i see your point very good anybody else thank you miguel that was very nice me. anybody else yes idalia me <laughs> i think that is when you wanna so i don't know when you wanna so so when you wanna say anything to someone mm -hmm. that you you want to be friendly oh, or something like that. Right. Okay, all right, I get it. Okay, very good. Okay, Amilcar, any ideas? Julio, Edwin, uh, Efrain, anybody? Uh -huh. I think we can use the, the model verb for suggestions or permissions. All right. And when we are talking in a, what can I say? In a platica, uh, Formal, a formal, like a formal conversation. Like conversation. Okay, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. But, Anybody okay, else? One more, one more characteristic is that some of them can be used in order to be more polite. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I get it. I see your point. Very good. Okay, Julio. I want to hear you, Julio. Uh huh. I don't know. Really, I don't know nothing about this. Okay. I right now. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm waiting. Okay. All right. Ah, okay. All right. I think I understood what you're saying, but you're breaking out a little bit. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So model verbs, as you guys like said, like in a very nice way, they are words. Okay. Or verbs. Sorry. Yes. Who said teacher? Could be used uh, uh -huh. as an auxiliary. Okay. Could yeah. Could be used as an auxiliary. All right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Edwin. Yeah. So all of you guys are, are right. You're like pitching in with some ideas and stuff. Model verbs are these special kind of verbs because they are verbs, okay? They are just model verbs that help you express something, your idea in a different way with a different meaning, with a different feeling, all right? But they are like, they are helping you to say something in a different way sometimes politer, as you guys mentioned, sometimes nicer, sometimes, as Efrain said, they, uh, you're, the type of them are like giving advice or suggestion, all right? When you suggest, it's different when you in, like um, command or you order someone. Like I, if I say to you, you should come to class, it's a very different than I say, you have to come to class. All right, so there's a different of meaning here. All right, so why am I talking about this? Because today we're talking a little bit about the different kinds of uses that model verbs can have. But before we get to that, we go, we're going to uh, work on se the second question. Can you guys mention all the, um, the model verbs that you can think of? Just don't, I mean, I don't want anything fancy. Just model verbs. I want to hear like a brainstorming of ideas. Uh -huh. what, the first model verb that comes to you, what is it? Uh-huh. Can and could, thank you, yes. Have to. You have. Okay. Should, must. Should, must, uh-huh. May. Could, yes. May. May. Oh, I need it. Okay, may, might, my. very good, yes, okay. Had to. Excuse me, Fatima? Had to, all right, very good. Needed to, right? What? Which ones did you study yesterday? Those two. Yes, okay. All right. I have, might right. have, should have, must right. have. Right, excellent, right, because they express like past models, all right? So that takes us to the next question here. And you guys did very, very well here with um, 
the answers that I wanted to hear. All right, so we are the list. Can you list any of many model verbs? And of course you did, all right? So now you have this one here. Why are they called model verbs? Roxana, can you read for me, please, honey? Yep, uh, model or modality. Modality, uh-huh, modality. Modality mm -hmm. relates to the way in which I can't, in I which can't, something uh, wait a minute okay to the way in <clears throat> which something is said or written especially okay. the way their speakers or writers attitude? attitude is, is expressed excellent it's expressed very good okay so this is what we were talking about earlier guys okay so a model verb it relates to the way in which something is said all right or written because remember that you can write something you can write a message saying uh i don't know could you help me or, or you say you must uh not miss class today all right so it, you can express something by like speaking verbally or you express an idea by writing okay and it says especially the way the speakers or writers attitude is expressed okay so that, that's what we were talking about, all right? So expressing ideas, model verbs help, help, they help us to express our ideas in different ways. Sometimes as obligations, sometimes as opinion. Teacher. Yes. Who's the teacher? Um, the pronunciation, attitude or attitude? No, I do not understand the pronunciation. It's attitude. Attitude. Attitude, yes. The attitude. Thank you. Yes, very good. Okay, so most of the, I mean, uh, model verbs, they help us to convey our feelings, attitudes in, a, in different ways. Okay, do you understand that so far, guys? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right, very good. Okay, let's continue here. If someone says, listen to this one, I'm just going to move us here because I cannot read it. It says, if someone says, I might come to the cinema with you this evening, what is the speaker's attitude to going out? We're not gonna type it, we're gonna talk about it. If I say to you, I might come to the cinema with you this evening, what is my attitude? Guys, anybody? Well, um, well, 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 oh, so, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. Oh, okay. go ahead. Not sure to go, Ellie, very good. Any other ideas, guys? I like lack it when everybody participates. Uh -huh. Lack of certainty of doing so. Sure. All right. So I'm not so certain if I want to go. All right. Okay. Any other ideas? Whoa. Any other ideas, guys? If I say to you, I might come to the cinema with you this evening. Am yeah, I, I think it, it is a, a possibility. Right? It's a possibility. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Now, do you think the possibility is that I will go or that I won't go? Or you don't know? Will. Yeah. That I will? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So I am almost sure then, or not really. If you would have to give me a percentage for that sentence, would you give me a 25%, a 50%, a 75%, a 100%? Using might. Mm -hmm. Using might. 50%? Yeah. You said right. 25 or 20%? 20 I said 25, about 25, 20, 25. Yeah, 25, 25, right. yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, very good. So it's less than 50. So it's 50 and yeah. below, right? So it's not like more than that. I might go, I'm not saying I will go. Very good. Probability. Yes, that's right. Very good. How are they used? All right. Um, a volunteer to read, guys, please. Okay, may I? May yes, I? please. Thank you. Yes. Okay. You will find model words used to express a variety of meanings. Okay. For example, possibility, mm -hmm. ability, yes. obligation, yeah. intention, and prediction. There advice, are more. Uh -huh. <laughs> certainty, opinion. Yes, that's right. Okay, among others. All right, maybe you're going to yeah. find some yeah. more, right? Thank you, uh, Efrain, right? You were reading. Okay. Yes, okay. okay, yeah. So some of them, they express possibility, 
ability, obligation, intention, prediction, advice, certainty, uncertainty, opinion, among others. Okay, so if you notice, the word can change the whole meaning of what you wanted to convey. All right, so uh, whatever I use as model verb, all right, that's going to change the whole attitude, the whole meaning of my idea towards something that I'm telling you. Okay, you understand that, guys? Yes? Yeah? Yes, yes. So far, so good? I guess so. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, now, sometimes, and I'm going to stop for a little bit here so I can see you. And just give me a second. Let's see. I need to take a picture of you guys because I need to send it as a report. Just give me one quick second before I forget. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, so when we talk about modal verbs, guys, there is something that we need to remember and that we cannot forget. Modal verbs, as the word says, they are verbs, but I see them as a different family from the verb family, all right? The normal verbs, like go, play, run, sleep, think, teach, whatever you want. Those are that family, and you have the other family, which, are, which is the model verbs, okay? They don't really like mix here. They're like, you know, Romeo and Juliet, those two different families, yeah? All right, so they're like that, all right? So they have these model verbs, they have their own rules. They're like, this is small country, all right? So they don't like to use the same rules as the, that, that family, the, the verb family, all right? Because they are so plain, okay? So there are many rules. Well, not so many, but there are some rules that we need to like keep in mind. For example, remember that when you have a model verb, do you use an inflection or a change when you say, Fatima? I'm just gonna say this, correct me if I'm wrong. Do I say Fatima should go to class? Is that okay? If I say Fatima should go to class, is that okay? <coughs> Guys, wake up. Uh huh. No. Fatima should go to no, class. No? no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Why? Wrong. Why, Efrain? Tell Fatima me why. Fatima should go to, should go to class without the S. The ES. The ES. So no inflection then, if I yeah. no change. Yes, yes. All yes. right. Why? I mean, you have told me, you, my teacher, have told me that every time I talk about third person singular, all right, I need to use an inflection or ES on the verb. But what <laughs> happens here? Why not? Because of the, the use of the, the model. Because the model you, makes the yeah, change. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So the yeah. model, they don't like changes they don't like to complicate your life see it that way okay so can mm -hmm. i tell you one more important thing about yes. it yes please okay everybody knows that we cannot use a model by itself we uh -huh. need a principle there also in sure. a sentence, yes right? of course yes mm -hmm. all right so that's why they're like help like someone said auxiliary kind of like helping yeah. verbs all right they're more like helping verbs than auxiliary verbs but yeah all right, all right. they yeah. help you to express and the, this is like the whole idea, right, behind the model verbs. They help you express something differently, all right, yes. as a, an advice mode, as an obligation mode, as a suggestion mode, all right? So that's the whole idea behind it. So Idan Efrain has a point. The uh, model verbs, they can never be by themselves. If you say, I should, what? You should study, you should go, you should come, you should clean, you should sleep. What should you do? You need to complete the sentence by using a normal verb, all right? So that's the only way they kind of like get together, you know? Another yes. um, guys is that model verbs, they have their own negative ways to say things, all right? You don't use don't, you don't use doesn't, you don't use didn't, won't, all right? You say, I shouldn't, should not, I couldn't, I needed not. All right, so they are their own negatives, all right? They don't need any, any auxiliary because they're already auxiliary, like they're already helping here, all right? So the only word that you need for auxiliary, uh, for these model verbs to be negative is the word not, okay? So they are like their own um, negatives, okay? 
Another yes. rule that we can like mention is that they, you cannot combine them together. You cannot say, I should, could go, <laughs> okay? <laughs> or you cannot say, I must, may, come, all right? So that would be a tutti frutti here, all right? So that cannot happen, all right? The, yeah. like, you, you cannot combine them, like, so together, all right? That's another one. Uh, let me see. Well, no inflections, their own negatives. Uh, they cannot um, be together like right, like butt to butt kind of thing. Another one here, some of them are already used with two. Like for example, I have two, all right? But many people, and I know you don't, but maybe like when you were learning English, you said something like, I can to swim when expressing ability here, all right? Or I could to go. You cannot use the infinitive, all right? So you don't use the infinitives when you're talking about or you're using modal verbs unless it already has it with, within kind of thing, all right? Do you understand what I'm talking about, guys? Yes? Yeah? Yes, yes, okay, yes. I'm doing a lot of speaking here. Thank you, Ellie. Do you have any questions? Do you have any other ideas on modal verbs that you can share with the class? Guys, no, we're doing fine. Okie dokie, all right, very good. Okay, so I'm going back here um, with this one and it says, why are they a problem? Some people think that model verbs are a problem, okay? It is, when you talk about grammar, they don't behave, and this is what I was telling you, they don't behave like normal verbs. For example, they don't have the S endings, no inflections. They don't have, uh, they have their own negatives. You cannot use to if you don't need to, all right? Uh, the other inflection, uh, the other thing I told you is that they cannot be together, all right? So those are grammatically speaking. Some people think they are a problem, all right? When you talk about meaning, a model verb can have more than one meaning and different model verbs can have the same meaning. So that's a little bit complicated here, all right, because it's like one, one model verb can have different meanings depending how you're using them, on the tense you're using them, on the context you're using them. So that creates a problem, all right? Another one, and this is getting closer to the topic of tonight's class, is multiple uses, all right? The differences in meaning are sometimes very subtle, all right? For example, may and might. Some people say might is stronger than may, but they are very, very similar in percentages, all right? So they kind of like fight to see which one is more than the other one, all right? Uh, you may not. Uh, Ellie, you may not can be used with contractions. Yes, you may not go. I don't know if that's what you mean. Ellie is texting on the chat. I think she doesn't have um, her microphone working. All right, yeah, okay, very good. Another one here, guys, it says, oops, that's not it. <laughs> the last one, it says, models, model verbs are very differently in speech and, and writing. Can, for example, is not used to ask for permission in formal writing. And it's not that you cannot use them, is that you need to know which ones to use. All right, especially if you're typing something very formal, like an essay for, for your TOEFL test, for example, or a report for your supervisor, or something like very, very formal, some of them are not like advisable to use. Do you understand, guys? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent, all right, very yes. good. Okay, so I want it, and that, that's the end of the presentation, okay? I wanted to show you that before, like, getting into business here, all right? So, did you, like, do you agree with what I presented? Yeah, you're okay with it? Comments, questions, anything? Excellent, Miguel, very nice. Daisy, everything okay? Yeah? Yes, Daisy, thank you. All right, Fatima? Yeah, you guys understood what I wanted to present? All right, very good. Okay, so, thank you, Laura, very nice. Okay, so now it's your turn to speak because I've done a lot of speaking today. That's because I missed you yesterday. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going Teacher. to... Yes, Idalia. I have a question. Yes. Uh, when we are talking about the 
us. Uh, the one, the, the one is we always need when we are talking about the past. Uh -huh. We always need to to use have after the modal. You should have. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the modal verbs, Idalia. They also have tenses. All right. Depends on. The I mean. Uh huh. I mean, if I if I can say mm, something like. I, I should have done it. You gone. No, no, sorry, sorry. I should went known. It's not possible, right? No. I should have gone. I should have gone, uh huh. I should have is gone with. The only way. Okay. Yeah. When we are talking in the past, is that is the, is the only way? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, what do you remember the ones you studied yesterday, guys? Yes. All right. Do you remember yes, them? Can you give me? A, uh huh. I wanted to know that if I don't know if we can say when we were, when we are talking about the past in this in using motivators, motivators. Uh -huh. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. That is. That's the only way to express way it. Ooh. No, that I can uh -huh. think of right now, Idalia. I think that's the only way you say, oh man, I should have gone with you. And that uh, activity already happened. For example, you, I knew okay. that you were going to a concert, for example, and you invited me. And I said, no, because I had to teach a class. All right. So, but then you tell me, oh, Jessica, yeah. the, the concert was so exciting. I think, oh man, I should have gone with you, you know, and now I regret that I didn't, but I didn't have a substitute teacher. All right, so kind of like okay. that. Uh huh, Idalia, very good. All right, that's what I wanted to know. Okay, thank All you. Right. Yeah, you're very welcome. Okay, so guys, I wanna, I'm gonna show you the worksheet that I want you guys to work on for the rest of the class. But I did not, I mean, my WhatsApp web is not working, so I'm stuck with the, the file here on my computer. So I'm gonna ask from you to take a picture and either on the phone or on a, a screenshot from your computer and then you're going to be working on it with your partners okay so let me just get it here for you it's here oh you know what i also wanted to i'm going to share this with you just for a quick second before we go and do that um you guys can see this right that the um the platform yeah all right if you notice here, the, you have some uses of different verbs, but I want to show you here. What's that noise? It must be the phone. D. Here, it says, uh, just to like going back to the topic of what can they express, some of them, some model verbs, and this is just to remind you that they can express degrees of certainty whenever you're more sure than other times. And this degrees of certainty happens what's that example, noise here, it must sure well it, here you're using must might or could all right and the degrees of certainty uh, they vary from a hundred percent to fifty percent to minus fifty percent all right so that would depend on what how certain you are of something okay then i just wanted to show you here this fifty percent sure Models can also express. Here. They can also express obligation, as we already said it, advice and opinion. All right. So that's like always like to keep in mind. Uh, here they are only talking about four, like certainty, obligation, advice, and opinion. I presented a little bit more on the uh, presentation, but these are the ones that we should like study. But of course, your job as a student is to like dig into more um, information and everything. Okay. So uh, now I will go. And I'm going to share with you the exercise that I want you to work on. And this is it. So can you be so kind to take pictures of it? Because I cannot share them with you for the moment. I'm just going to make it. Whoa, that's too big. Whoa, that's too big. Where's everybody else? I'm missing some people. All right. So here, guys, can you take a picture all the way to, let's say, 
16 and then I'll move it up again and you can take the next picture. Anita. Anita. Okay. All right, let me know when it's done. Anita. Excellent, Miguel, thank you. All right, I'm gonna move it up, guys. Oh, uh, Edwin is taking a picture. Got it? All right. Last one is like from 18 or 17 all the way, all the way to 30. Got it? Excellent. All right. Okay. Guys, everybody got it? Yeah? All right. Very good. Okay. So the idea here is for you to like read it with your partner. Okay. Go reading it. Try to advance as much as possible. Some of you, I know you will finish and some of you may not, but that's okay. The idea is to practice. Read it together, guys. The idea for you to work in your groups is to share like the reading uh, skill also and to practice it to so sort of read it if for example Miguel has better pronunciation than i do then he can correct me or help me out or vice versa or sometimes daisy might not know a word and i may know it so i explain english all right and then we get to the uh, final exercise which is using the different model verbs that they they can um be used here all right so good luck, and I'm gonna send you to your groups right now. There you go, in pairs, in, we're working in pair, pairs. Hi, Miguel. Hi. What happened? Um, I was the only one in the group. Oh my goodness, forever alone, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna send you right now to a different group, all right? Okay, thanks. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't get that. You didn't get it? Nope. All right, let me move you back again then. Let's see now. Mm, nope, that's a little bit weird. Nothing? Nothing, nothing. That is strange. Let's see now. No? no. Can you favor Miguel? Sometimes that no. happens. Can you like um leave the session and come back in again? Gotcha. All right, thank you. Did 
Let's see if you can get it now.
going to work. It it can you. It's like an, an order, right? This it yeah. It must be out of order. It's like a, an order mm -hmm. uh, for other for other person or for other. Yeah. Two. Which sentence are you guys working on? And the uh, third. I can't get my phone to work. The third one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it I think. It can't be out of order. It can't be out of order. It, it must be, be out of order. Yeah. It must be out of order. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the fourth one. Uh, I see. Yeah. Um, Hi guys, how are you doing? Which sentence are you on right now? Hi teacher. Hi. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yes. Oh, nice. All right. Okay. What do you have for number one, guys? You couldn't hurry or you could hurry? You couldn't. couldn't. For number one? Yes. Yeah, because he is planning his time. So he doesn't have to support him. Yeah, you got plenty of time. You couldn't hurry, but that wouldn't really make much sense. You can hurry, you must hurry, you must not hurry, maybe. You mustn't hurry, sounds better. Or the other option could be needn't not, like needn't hurry, need not hurry. Okay, teacher. All right. Very nice. Keep on working. You're doing great. Hello. 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 Hi, Ellie. Hello. Hi, Eugenia. Hi. You guys finished, girls? No. no. Yet. Oh, my goodness. I thought you were like yeah, done I'm already. Done. <laughs> yeah. No. Hi. I have been using uh, Shilmu and <laughs> there is no in the blank, right? <laughs> oh. So we say uh, the first one is the need to, the need. And the second one, uh, must. That's oh, right, right, yes. Must, uh huh. Yeah. Uh. And three, we say must. Also, very good. And four, we say can. That's right. Wow, nice. And, uh, then seven we we say need and we and we are just okay we are still you're still you were still thinking yeah we're still thinking about the right because I say mm -hmm. that uh what would it be seven okay. I don't need to go to the work oh no about the sick we have we were talking about the sick I you were talking uh huh. For the six, because uh, she said that the, the, um, it is need. I said it's most. <laughs> for number six. So, yeah. Yes. She be thirty five. She looks older than that. That one. B. How it says she be thirty five. Is that the sentence? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All In right. Okay. Second. Yeah. Ah, but that one. What was the choices that you guys were thinking about? What were the choices? I I say must. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I think it's need needed. Ah, all right. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Neither <laughs> nor. <laughs> um, I, I, uh huh. Go ahead. I was I I was explaining that 
if you uh, I can use it um, in a situation if you want to do, to make <laughs> Um, Sergi, so, if you need it, I will tell you. You don't need it. Like, I was explaining it. All right. So. Yeah. I think in this, because of the context and because it's more like an expression, um, mm -hmm. I think it's best if you use can't. For example, you say, oh, no way, she can't be 35. She looks no. older than that. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, because you're like very surprised. You say, "No way, she can be 35. She looks older than that." <laughs> but the right is must. Yeah. Can't or not? Can't. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she can't be. So you're like, "No puede ser." O sea, hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So with them. So but the, the rest of the other ones, you got them right. <laughs> yeah. That's it's good. It's really hard to explain. Yeah. All right, continue working. I'm going to go check on another group, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, too. You couldn't, no, no, no. You mustn't go to the grocery store. We have some milk in the fry. I think that uh, that is the pronunciation. Uh, okay, needn't. Yeah, oh. needn't. Okay. Which number are you working on, guys? Lydia, David, and Angel? 23. Yeah. 23? Yeah. Yes. You needn't, uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yay, very good. <laughs> All right, you're I almost done. Can't find my keys. I promise. Yeah, that. but that was my turn. Yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Respect David's turn, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find my keys. I probably left them at my mother's place. Yep. So, you. I think it's better. More sense. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. Hello, Efrain. Okay. Hello, Edwin. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Which sentence are you working on right now? Or are you oh, finished? You. We're working. We're working hard. We're working hard yet. <laughs> All right. Very nice. <laughs> still. <laughs> still. <yeah>. still. <laughs> 16. Oh, 16. All right. Very good. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, 16. When 16. Yes.
All right, guys. So, uh, were you able to finish pretty much? Some of you did, I think. All right. Uh, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna share with you these pictures. You may take a look at them if you want. You can take a picture just to like um, double check if you have them right. All right, so you may feel free to like take a picture right now of it. So you can, yeah, Angel, I see that you're joy. <laughs> with, all right, and then we have the rest of them. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right, okay. okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. So there you uh, there you have the answers, guys. Uh, compare them if you want to right after class to see if you got everything right. Okay, and if you, in case you missed some of them, it's okay. All right. So thank you very much for being in class with me tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. As I said, I'm gonna join those two topics uh, for tomorrow's class. And Thursday we'll begin section three. Okay. Okay, Thank you so much for being with okay. me tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, okay? See you. Bye. Have a nice Thank night. You. Bye. 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 Bye.